What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fist You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Hello, 911. Check this out. I need to report a homicide. Okay. I got word from these New York Giants streets that Daniel Jones just clapped the Indianapolis Colts. Okay. And on, and, and on a side note, I got word that assault, battery, and defamation of character was committed by Kayvon Thibodeau when he took out Nick Foles. Okay. He did snow angels and then he went to the bench and did the go to sleep Steph Curry pose. It's bad out there. Okay. I heard Nick Foles is in the hospital. He down bad right now. The whole city of Indianapolis is in a tombstone. Can you please arrest these men? And while you at it, please lock up Joe Shane and Brian Dable for the Rico charge. They are here running a criminal organization known as the New York Football Giants. They are the modern day John Gotti sent me the ball. It ain't safe in these streets. 2023, it's a wreck. Click. Okay. Every now and again, Big Fist got to be a good Samaritan. Okay, it, there's one thing we've learned over the past couple years is it's okay to tell. 6 9 snitched, he's still alive. Everybody in YSL is snitching on Young Thug and they're still alive. It's okay to snitch. So I took it upon myself to help the, the good people in Indianapolis and tell on Daniel Jones and Kayvon Thibodeau, Joe Shane and Dable. I had to tell on them because what they just did to the Indianapolis Colts was criminal. That was not right. It is New Year's. It is a holiday. Families are together. Children are gathered around the television screen. And they had to witness a murder. They had to witness a Jeffrey Dahmer, Brunson, freaking. They had to witness the worst thing they've ever seen. This should have been rated R. This should have been a, a parental advisory sticker on the top left hand of the television screen. Do not let your kids watch this. Daniel Jones is not in the mood. OK, Daniel Jones is not playing. Kayvon Thibodeau is not playing. We are going to the playoffs and you're going to die today. Should have been. A, it should have been a sticker. It really should have been. I feel bad for the people of Indianapolis. Them, them kids are never going to be the same. They go ahead. They going to see Daniel Jones running for touchdowns every time they close their eyes for the for the remainder of their life. Every time they close their eyes, they're going to see number eight running for another touchdown. They're going to see number eight throwing another touchdown. And, and Nick Foles, his poor children, they they, they never going to be able to get Kayvon Thibodeau out their head. Every time they, if Halloween, Halloween kids in the neighborhood going to dress up as Kayvon Thibodeau and, and pretend to sack their father for the, for, from here on out. Ha. <laughs> 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 every now and again every now and again man I, I'm, I'm reminded <laughs> how fun my job is every now and again I get reminded how fun my job is and watching my team put on this kind of performance when it matters most it just it's a it's a it's a certain level of joy that I get to do this video and share it with my people. Fisk Unit fans, Giants fans, we go we can all come together and enjoy this moment. I have been on YouTube since 2016. I didn't start uploading daily content until 2017, which means since I since I decided to actually take YouTube serious, I have never had a playoff reaction for the Giants. I've never had a playoff reaction for the New York football Giants. And I got on YouTube July 26, 2016. 
This feels great. This is newfound territory for me. I mean, my goodness, has it been that long? Has it been that long, man? I see, I think, was it Adam Schefter? He tweeted out the, the that, that stupid, idiotic picture on the boat where you got these light-skinned dudes posing in black pants and Tim's. No, nobody in Miami wear Tim's, bro. I knew he was cursed. I saw that picture. I said, we're never going to recover from this. I saw that picture. I was like, we're never going to recover from this picture because they really wearing black jeans and Tim's on a freaking boat in South Beach in the middle of freaking January. I knew he was screwed, but I didn't know it would last this long. I mean, it's just it's just been a long, arduous, torturous, emotional, painful, detrimental to my psyche journey to get to this moment. It has. We're not in a rebuild. This is the accumulation of the rebuild. The rebuild started when we drafted Danny in 2019. That was the rebuild. And in 2022, well, 2023, how you want to look at it? The rebuild is over because we are in the playoffs. Now we are in position to put talent around this kid, give him his contract, and compete for Super Bowls for the foreseeable future. The player you saw today is just as good, if not better, than any quarterback you're going to watch on Sunday or Monday. There's not a quarterback I'm scared of with number eight behind center. That guy you saw today, anybody can get it. We're not scared of the Niners. We ain't scared of who, whoever is the number one seed because Philly out here choking to the Saints right now. We're not scared. Dallas, y'all know what time it is. We should have beat y'all twice this year. Dallas, you don't want to smoke. All right, Minnesota, y'all really don't want to smoke. All right, and it's like, come on, man. We not scared, bro. We not scared. I feel good. I'm damn, I'm, dare I say I'm arrogant right now? Dare I say I'm an intolerable, insufferable, annoying Giants fan right now? You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing, bro. I've been trying to tell you I feel vindicated. I feel vindicated because I've been telling y'all Daniel Jones is that dude for years. And I scroll on my Twitter timeline and all I see is Daniel Jones praise. I was so happy. I'm so happy for Danny, man. All I see is Daniel Jones praise from everybody, not just Giants fans, sports betters, fantasy players, NFL pundits. You got some dude on FS1 said Daniel Jones should be the MVP. I mean, you're seeing takes. You're seeing here, you're seeing and hearing takes on television and on the internet that you would normally only hear from me. Now other people are starting to sound like Fitz Vegas. Now when you go back and listen to my old videos of me bigging up Daniel Jones, me preaching this Daniel Jones gospel, does it sound crazy now? Do I sound crazy now? Do I sound like a fanboy now? Do I sound uneducated now? That pussy antichrist, does it sound like I'm spreading false hope now? The cocksucker that you are, does it sound like that now? It doesn't. I was right. Give me my flowers. It's as simple as that. And don't let that tie fool you. Do not let that tie fool you. This was a 10-win team. Don't let the tie fool you. This is a 10-win team because we're probably going to rest versus Philly next week. So the Philly game next week, that's an L. We're probably going to rest up. This was a 10-win team. Team, do not let that tie fool you. I said 10 wins. I stood on my soapbox and said 10 wins. Everybody, the looks, the tweets, the comments, the energy that people freaking, I'm not going to, you know, I don't know if they curse. Fuck it. The energy that people spew towards me, the negative vibes that they sprayed my way when I said the Giants is going to win 10 wins was fucking disgusting. They sat there and they shamed me. They made me feel like I didn't know what I was talking about. They said Fitz Vegas is a fanboy. He don't, he, he's not to be taken serious. And look at us now. Look at me now. 
What a season. What a season. I set fire to that antichrist, the golden boy. I teamed up with Kyle Pizzle. I predicted playoffs in a Daniel Jones contract extension. And six months later, I was right on everything. And despite being blackboard, I'm still standing and my sub count and view count go up daily. Shout out to Daniel Jones. Shout out to Dable for doing what Joe Judge couldn't do. Shout out to Joe Shane for doing what Gettleman couldn't do. Shout out to Kayvon for being worth every freaking pick of that fifth pick. And shout out to every Giants fan who has been rocking with me this whole time. And most importantly, shout out to me for having the heart, the backbone, and the sheer audacity to keep doing what the fuck I've been doing since day one. I ain't got nothing else to say. Happy New Year. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.